Get Connected. I'm your host, Con Jackson. I think we're about to find out how we can win a million dollars from a chef. How do you like that? Sounds tasty, doesn't it? He is an award-winning chef from his restaurant in Cleveland. He's got a new cookbook coming out called Carnivore. You've seen him on The Chew, and he's a bona fide iron chef. Of course, I'm talking about Chef Michael, who joins us now. What's it like being on The Chew? Um, you know, live television is just a really fun thing to do. You have that, that audience, the energy. Um, you know, I get to work with Mario, who I've been friends with for years, and Carla and Clinton and Daphne are fantastic people. The, the, really, the great thing is, is we get along as good outside of work as we do at work. So it, it's a really special group. Well, now that you're a star, I'm just curious, when you get home to Ruby and Ozzy, are they treating you like a star? <laughs> Uh, no, they still expect their walks and brushings and, and, and all those things. Nothing's changed with them. <laughs> that is funny. They sound like cool pets. Now, let's move on to Iron Chef. How did you handle the pressure? You know, I, I just, I don't really think about things much differently. So, um, you know, when I competed in Next Iron Chef six years ago, and now I've been an Iron Chef for over five years, uh, I, you know, nothing that they could give me, I always feel, is as hard as what we've had to do in the restaurants day in and day out for the past almost 20 years now. Well, Chef, you certainly handled it well. I'm just curious, growing up, who encouraged you the most to be a chef? Well, my, my mother was the one that encouraged me the most. And I started working in restaurants when I was 13 years old, fell in love with the business. Always, Food was always a huge part of my life because of uh, the way I was raised by my parents and grandparents. Um, you know. Pretty much every great lesson I learned was in the kitchen and around the dining room table. So uh, I, I knew at a very young age that I wanted to be a chef. Well, now you get to hang out with Eva Longoria. I know she's part of a campaign with you with Lay's. Tell us about the partnership. Uh, well, you know, it is a lot of fun. Um, Lay's is kicking off their Do Us a Flavor contest, which I'm super excited about because essentially America is going to get to choose the next great potato chip flavor and the winner is going to get a million dollars. So it, it really doesn't get any better than that. All right, Chef, when it comes to potato chips, what makes a great recipe? Well, you know, any combination that I think about with food I never think of, I'm going to make this different than anybody else did it. I, I want food to spark a memory. So I would think of dishes that really get them excited, maybe bring them back to childhood, bring them to a great vacation they went on, um, remind them of maybe a dish that they had that their, their parents or grandparents or best friend cooked, something maybe a delicious side at Thanksgiving or something really special at a, at a family gathering. Those are going to be the, the flavors, I think, that really resonate with America. Chef, I know this competition can win a lot of money, but there's also something known as the Flavorizer. What is that? <laughs> well, the Flavorizer is pretty cool. It's on, um, if you go to your to the Facebook page, the Lay's Facebook page, it will take the uh, what you're doing at the time and show you flavors that kind of come off your timeline. Like say you said, I went to Italy, maybe tomato, garlic, basil, extra virgin olive oil pop up, and it'll kind of help you develop your own flavors. All right, Chef, not to put you on the spot, but what is your favorite Lay's potato chip? Uh, I am a, a diehard salt and vinegar guy. That's, that's my go-to. I, I have a very big weakness for Lay's salt and vinegar chips. Well, Chef Michael, I'm just curious, what is the judging process going to be like? Well, what's going to happen is myself and a select group of judges are going to pick our three favorite recipes. Those three recipes will then go into production, and America will choose out of those three what is their favorite chip. The winner is going to get a million bucks. The other two people that made it to the party are going to get 50 grand each. So it's going to be really exciting. Well, that's certainly cool. Thanks so much for joining us, Chef. <laughs> Thanks, Con. Stay well.